hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how i make cookie corn cookie corn actually um is also called um corn pudding so it's basically corn fresh corn with spinach um, some salt palm oil so if you want to see how i make this a uh, very healthy dish it's also, it can also be eaten by vegetarians just sit back and watch um, how i do this and i hope you enjoy the video So to make the cocky corn, you will need some fresh corn and um, the amount that you use obviously depends on the quantity of corn that you want. Um, I roughly made about five to six bundles so that quantity you see there should be enough. You need some maggi cubes, so I've got three maggi cubes there. You will need some um, scotch bonnet pepper, obviously this dish is nice um, if it has a bit of a chili kick to it but it's up to you. If you don't like hot food then you can skip that step. You need some spinach, if you don't have spinach you can go ahead and use some kale. You need some cornmeal, um, onions, some salt, palm oil and then to make the cocky corn um, you will need to use some banana leaves. If you can't find banana leaves you can use cling film and some foil paper. Um, it should come out just perfectly, um, just the same way as the banana leaves. Wash your corn and blend with onions, a little bit of water and then you can go ahead and add the two um, scotch bonnet pepper. Like I said, if you don't like your food too hot, you can skip that step and just make sure you don't add too much water to the paste, uh, the corn paste. Um, if not, it might take longer to cook and you might not really get the, the consistency that you're looking for. So once you've blended your corn and you're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients so we're gonna add in some of the cornmeal we're gonna add in some salt palm oil and the spinach like I said if you don't have spinach you can also use some kale and please just make sure that your um, your consistency is not too watery because then if it's too watery it might take longer to cook so you want to make sure you've got a very good balance there of the corn and the cornmeal with less water
what it looks like and like I said you can go ahead and use some baking paper and some foil paper um, I actually didn't end up using the banana leaves because I didn't have enough uh, because normally the banana leaves um, you've got to double them so what I did is I actually used the steam basket and I'll be steaming this with the banana leaves underneath if you don't want to use um, a steam basket you can also use uh, electric steamer and it will just do exactly the same job Steam your cookie corn for roughly 30 to 40 minutes and um, as you can see the cookie corn is ready and um, if you enjoyed watching me make this recipe please don't forget to like share comment subscribe and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye